team batting average. The runner goes, and this one's driven into right field. Hit high and deep. Back he goes, and it is gone. Nolan Clifford, his third home run of the year, and he pulls the Jays even 2-2. here in the top half of the second inning. Cade Lummel trying to work out of trouble again. This one is inside outed to the first base side. It's picked up unassisted by McLean and everybody else advances in a 0-2 count. The righty lifts and delivers. On the outside corner, got him strike three. And Daniel Hammond comes in and gets a couple big outs and only allows one inherited runner with Will McLean. And he swings and drills one up the middle for a leadoff base hit. It skips up on Alex Lucini. McLean takes a big wrap around first and holds there, and it's a leadoff single for the Jays. 0-1. This one's swung. Looper, left center field, no man's land, and it's down in the Bermuda Triangle. And another single for the Jays to start the second inning. 101 games up there, and he's up in a 3-1 count here with two on and takes upstairs. So two singles and a walk have the bases loaded with Jays here in the bottom of the second. Two in the first and three in the second. Capisi swings, drives one high into left field and deep. Brown going back. He's nearing the track. He's on top of it, and he's got it for the first out of the inning, but the runner will tag McLean and score. And it's an RBI sack fly for Connor Capisi, and the Jays cut into the lead. It's 5-3 Riverhawks. Let's see if Sailors goes for one here. This one's drilled. Right field, high and deep. Martinez gives it a look, but nothing more. Over the bullpen in right field, Nolan Sailors. After a three-run home run last night, how about another one tonight? His fourth of the year. the second. Clifford's on first via the walk and this one's drilled into left center field off the base of the wall. Here comes Clifford around third. The throw is to no man's land and it's an RBI double for Teddy Dieters and the Jays lead it 7-5 in the second. 2-2. Right Two -two. This one's up the middle and it's going to get down for a base hit. Dieters is around third. He scampers home, throw is cut off, comes into second base and McLean is punched out there. Run will count. Jays get another to end the second, but McLean is out at second base on the tag and a smart cutoff there in the middle from UMass Lowell, but the count. Hammond comes set at the belt here. 0-2 on the way. Swing and a miss. Fans at that one. A good out pitch. Come set. Bring another. One, two pitch. Called strike three on the inside corner. And again, good movement on that cutter. UMass Lowell got two in the first and three in the second. They were blanked in the third. And this one is ripped into right center field. And that is going to get to the gap. A big turn by Matt Sherman. And he will beat the throw at second. It was a good relay, good drill away here. 0-2 pitch, and that one is drilled into right field, but off oh! the glove of the right fielder, Carlos Martinez, who had a beat on that one. One run will score. Here comes run number two and three, and now getting the wave from Connor Gandassi. They'll hold him up at the last moment there, almost. Might have bent. It could have been light. Could have been the backdrop here. This ball is... Lifted into shallow left field, and Trey Brown cannot get to it. And so another run will score as Matt Sherman comes across. Nissen will face the lefty. This one's lifted high, sky high on the infield. Somebody on the right side is going to bring it in. It's McLean, and he's got it about halfway in between the plate and first base. With one gone in the bottom of the fifth, and Jays with a 12-5 lead. This one's tapped up the middle over the head of Symes. Barehand Genther throw to first is low and not dug out over at first by Kelly. I think Buell right here at Charles Schwab Field. There's an excuse me swing. Gets him, though. 
Miss. Here's the one-two pitch from Nissen. Swing and a miss. Took something off that one and records another strikeout. So two balls, one strike. To McLean, an excuse me swing. Ground ball over to third in play. Brandon Fish gloves it. Mm. High throw and he's not down on the bag in time. Over there in the last couple days. Good, did a good job of just fielding that. As Matt Sherman as he punches one through the right side and that will score. Teddy Dieters as he rounds third in there easily. Now the throw to third. Not in time as Will McLean goes from first to third. And Fastball right around 90 miles an hour. Swing and a miss. Now we know where all the kids are sitting as soon as there's a foul ball in the vicinity. They descend upon it. There's a swing and a miss. Took something off that one. A good See if he can work out. 2-2 on the way. That one is hit into right field and caught on the line by Teddy Dieters. Great defensive play there by Teddy Dieters as Creighton able to limit the damage. One runoff, three hits, no errors, and two runners left on base. Stretch time here at Charles Schwab Field. Be a little windier tonight than it was last night, but it would be at our back, but we've actually felt it a little bit here in the face tonight. Swung on and misses. Martinez is down on four pitches. 0-2 to O'Leary. The line, the pitch. On the outside corner, strike three. Mason Cook got him looking, and the Jays finish this thing off and sweep the two-game midweek series with UMass Lowell. 13-8 winners.